I think that people should feel that there's someone out there that will not judge them. There's someone out there that will help them through this problem. When you hire an attorney, you want him personally to handle your case. Unfortunately, what happens in a lot of criminal cases is some firms that are bigger, you may see one lawyer and you may speak to one lawyer and uh, you might be able to have a contact with him and, and uh, relate the facts to him. But when you go to court, sometimes you'll be seeing another lawyer. Well, there can be a number of reasons for this, if the lawyer's ill or something of that nature, but unfortunately in some larger firms, this is a, um, a course of conduct. This is what they do. They'll uh, speak to one lawyer. Then another lawyer, generally a lawyer with less experience, will be the one representing you in court. Well, you're not paying your lawyer to supervise someone else to represent you. You know, it's kind of somewhat like the old bait and switch where you go into a, a department store and they're advertising something and you leave with something else. You can never feel very comfortable about that. In this kind of case, you need to feel as comfortable as possible with the lawyer you have. You have to build a rapport, rapport with your lawyer so you understand what he's going to tell you. You believe what he's going to tell you and, and he understands you. If it's constantly changing when you're getting a different lawyer every time, this report doesn't exist. Plus, the experience issue, you come in and speak to an attorney like myself, who's been around for 27 years, has experience in all these kind of cases, and then you want to talk to a younger lawyer who's only been around for three years, well, that doesn't do much for your, uh, your understanding, and it doesn't do much for your uh, belief the case is being properly handled. In my office, I represent all of my clients. I don't have anyone else appear in my cases unless I'm ill or something of that nature. And they certainly don't negotiate my cases. I handle them from the beginning to the end, through trial oftentimes, uh, even past that. 